Well, I've written uh, two screenplays and uh, I've uh, directed two movies on my own, Angora and The Light of Blood, which might be out within the next four months. And um, I'm an actor. I shot scenes with Al Pacino and Cameron Diaz in Any Given Sunday. And I was in The Punisher. Um, Thunder in Paradise with Hulk Hogan and uh, several others. Ocean's Eleven, I have a scene with Brad Pitt. And I've had 99 commercials on TV. I used to do modeling. I was in the several magazines like Publix, Time Life magazine. And, and uh, I used to be the lead singer of a rock band. I had a rock band for about 12 years, from uh, from 80, from 75 to 87. I had a rock band. Alrighty. So, um, when did you know you wanted to be an actor? And well, probably uh, it started way back when I was about four years old. When uh, I used to watch TV shows like uh, The Outer Limits and. Uh, in 66, I used to watch uh, the t Green Hornet TV show with Bruce Lee and Van Williams. And uh, from there on, I guess I knew I wanted to be an actor-singer. And, and I used to see the Beatles on TV and Elvis being mobbed by their audience. And I thought it might be something interesting to do, but I wanted to create, you know, be involved in good stories like West Side Story with Natalie Wood and, you know, movies like that. Rebel Without a Cause, James Dean. So that's how basically I got started was seeing the Beatles on TV and uh, Bruce Lee and Van Williams and the Green Hornet. It was kind of like a superhero TV show. We're here shooting the film right Well, uh, what's the name of this movie? I can't have you. I can't have you? If I can't have you. If I can't have you. We're on the set of If, if I Can't Have You today, where I played the dad, and uh, I read the script, but uh, when I got the script, it had a one-word title. And so I guess they changed it to If I Can't Have You. And uh, Chris Leto uh, gave me the part after I went to his audition. Uh, and he's a very good uh, director. I enjoyed myself today, and you were in the movie. And you did a uh, wonderful job, by yeah. the way. What is your favorite film that you have been in? Well, I had a lot of fun filming with John Landis, the director of Michael Jackson's thriller, American Werewolf in London, the Blues Brothers, Animal House, and 48 Hours. Uh, he directed all of those. And I filmed with him for one week on the Cronenberg Chronicles, a pilot film for a TV show. Unfortunately, it looks like our TV show was not picked up, but I have a DVD of the Cronenberg Chronicles. And John Landis was telling us a lot of jokes and uh, about the fun he had on the set of Animal House with John Belushi and Tim Matheson. And, and uh, he had a lot of interesting stories to tell. Like he said that 35 millimeter film, rain does not show up on 35 millimeter film. That's one thing that John Landis told us. I thought that was an interesting thing. So you could shoot exteriors outside when it's raining and you can't see the rain. In fact, all of the animal house exteriors were shot in the rain. No. This is your headshot. If you want to contact him, where do we go? Oh, you can contact me at Gustavo Perez60 at aim.com. That's my email. And I'm on Facebook. I have a whole bunch of movie clips on Facebook. Like uh, a clip from the Cronenberg Chronicles is on there, and a clip from The Break with Martin Sheen. Um, uh, the Raging Bells, where I was after a serial killer in Tampa, and uh, The Light of Blood, which I directed and wrote in Cuba. I directed it in Cuba, 
It's probably the first 90-minute horror movie ever to be filmed in Cuba. The Light of Blood, my movie, I directed. Okay, so please give Miss Linda to get some more headshots. It's really cool. Okay, if you want to get in touch with Miss Donny or something, Donny Show, go to donnyshow.com, I mean yahoo.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Away!